Pokemon Legends Arceus introduced a ton of new Hisuian forms, but you might be asking yourself, A-Drive, how do I evolve these things? I got your back. Let's dive in. Yo, whoa, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka A-Drive. I'm bringing you guys a brand new video today, and today we're looking at every single one of the new Pokemon in Pokemon Legends Arceus and how you can evolve them in the game so that way you get their final forms and they're all mighty and powerful. Be sure to hit that like button down below. This video helps you. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. I have tested all these out, but big shout outs to the data comparative by Roy Dedadu, which I'll have in the description below as well as my source. But again, I was able to test all these out as I've pretty much completed my Pokedex and it's been phenomenal. But without further ado, let's dive in to how to evolve every single one of the Pokemon in the decks. All right, so the first thing is obviously Growlithe. Hisuian Growlithe obviously evolves in Hisuian Arcanine and you just need a Firestone. It's really that simple, just like regular Arcanine, you use a Firestone to evolve it. If you're looking for Firestones, you can actually obtain them by just smashing the rocks around the region. And for pretty much everything in this video, you can also buy them from the trader in Jubilife with the points that you receive for picking up the different satchels spread out. But yeah, Firestones, you can get pretty easily. Just run around and throw your Pokeball at the rocks and get the farm from that, but you'll just use a Firestone there. Voltorb, you can evolve into Hisuian Voltorb with a Leaf Stone, believe it or not. Yes, you need to use a Leaf Stone, much like you would use for like, you know, Victory Bell or Vile Plume or whatever, but same kind of concept. You can get Leaf Stones by doing the exact same thing to get the Fire Stones. Just kind of go throughout the map, grab those, uh, you know, kind of farm to get Pokeballs, whatever else, and sometimes you get lucky and find a Leaf Stone drop there as well. So Voltorb evolves with a Leaf Stone. From there, things get a little bit more tricky. You've got the Hisuian Quillfish line. You have to use its signature move, Barb Barrage. You have to use that move 20 times. If you use the move Barb Barrage 20 times in strong style, you will have the opportunity to evolve it. So you have to make sure that you move the slider over to the right and use the strong style Barb Barrage 20 times, which can be really easy. My recommendation is just go to the field lands, like the first area, Go fight Bidoofs and Wormpoles, go heal, just do it. It shouldn't take too long. I think four cycles of that, you should be able to get it evolved very quickly. Uh, just beat up easy Pokemon that you'll one-shot is my recommendation. In order to evolve Hisuian Sneasel, you need to get access to the Razor Claw. And this is a tricky item to find, but believe it or not, Sneasels themselves actually drop them. So just go find a bunch of Sneasels, beat them really quickly. They often drop Razor Claws, and you have to give it a Razor Claw during the daytime, and it'll evolve into Sneasler. Which is kind of funny because when you have a regular Sneasel and you evolve it with a Razor Claw at nighttime, it turns into Weavile. So it's kind of the flip. You have to do it during daytime with a Razor Claw, which again, the Sneasels themselves will drop. So they're pretty easy to find. Petalil into the new Hisuian Lilligant. If you're looking for Petalil, you can find it right outside of where Lilligant's trial is. And you're going to want to use a Sunstone to evolve it. Much like the other stones, you can find them throughout the game by just kind of traveling around. Some of these items you can find by digging and stuff, but generally that's your best bet. So you can utilize the Sunstone to evolve your little Petalil into Hisuian Lilligant, which is a pretty cool Pokemon. So pretty easy one there. The next Pokemon is Basculin, and Basculin will actually change based on its male or female. So if you have a male Basculin, you have to use the Strong Style Wave Crash, which is a signature move Wave Crash. And if you have a female Basculin, you have to use the Agile Style Wave Crash. So by utilizing those two attacks, depending on the gender, you have to take 300 HP in recoil damage in order for it to have the mechanic to evolve. So my recommendation, take one of these dudes, head over to the Volcano, beat up some Gravelers, some Magmars, things of that nature. It's pretty easy to do that because you'll one-shot them and you'll take 50 or so HP in recoil. So it should only take six, seven tries uh, to get the 300 HP in recoil. But again, strong style wave crash for the males and agile style wave crash for the females. Next up is Hisuian Zora and Hisuian Zoroark. And while you can get access to Hisuian Zoroark just by playing the game, uh, in fact, it's part of the story, Hisuian Zoroa is very easy to evolve. It's just simply by level up. I believe it's level 30, if I'm not mistaken, which is when Zora normally evolves into Zoroark, but it's just a level up evolution. So just level it up and it'll eventually evolve. Taking a look at the new Rufflet evolving into Hisuian Braviary, much like the other one, it's just a level up evolution. However, this Pokemon evolved very late. You have to be level 54. Luckily, chances are by the time you catch this Rufflet, it's already going to be a pretty high level. So just level up to 54 and it'll evolve into the Hisuian Braviary. You can also catch Hisuian Braviary, but it's a little tricky, so might be easier to just evolve the Rufflet. The next one is Stantler, and you actually get access to Stantler very early in the game. And it evolves by using its signature move, Size Shield Bash. You're going to want to use that 20 times in Agile form. So if you use the Agile Size Shield Bash, 20 times, then it'll evolve into a weird deer. Very simply put there, much like some of the other Pokemon with their signature moves. I kind of like that. I think it's a creative way to evolve these Pokemon and to kind of force you to try the different mechanics in the game 
to ultimately get them. So again, just go beat up a bunch of worm pulls, you'll be good to go. Bergmite evolves into Avalug at level 37 by just level up, so there's no special mechanics there. And Gumi evolves into Sligu at level 40, and then it evolves into Gudra at level 50, but in rain. So make sure you set the weather to rain, which basically involves just going to the camp, resting, waiting for it to rain. You can check, it's pretty easy. Most of the locations like the highlands and, and the, the coastlands will have rain. So just continuously change the time until it's raining out, then hit it level 50 and you'll have the opportunity to evolve it. Much like some of these other Pokemon though, like Avalog, you can just catch Gudra in the wild too, if you wanna save the time in terms of evolving it. Very easy to do. The next Pokemon, one of my favorites, is evolving Scyther into Cleaver. You need a special item called the Black Augurite. Now this Black Augurite can be found in a couple different ways. The way I found it easiest was actually just by utilizing the Ursaring search mechanic item finder and kind of digging them up. However, you'll find them just by playing the game. I think by smashing rocks, I'm pretty sure you can find them. You can definitely find them by digging if I'm not mistaken. So again, just kind of look around, find the item Black Augurite and you should be good to go. I was able to find four through my playthrough. So they're not super duper rare if you're playing through the game and just being attentive, but you just utilize the item and it'll evolve into a cleaver. Perhaps one of the craziest evolutions of this game is Ursaring going into the Pokemon Ursaluna. You need to find the item Pete Block, and Pete Block is an item that's best found with the item finder by kind of digging around in the various areas on top of Ursaluna in the Crimson Mirelands. In fact, one of the best places to find it, I believe is like the bottom right-hand part of the Mirelands. There's a little pond where Turtwig spawns. I found my Pete Block there. So I'm assuming it's gonna be the same for everybody, but check in that spot. I'll have another video where I show where to get Turtwig. Check there for the Pete Block. But you need to actually use the Pete Block on Ursaring during a full moon. And you might be like, how do I get a full moon? So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna sleep at the base camp until it's nighttime. And then you're gonna just wait a little bit is the next option and then see if you can evolve it. If it doesn't work, then just keep repeating the process until it allows you to utilize the, uh, the Pete Block. Uh, you might not see the full moon. So you might wanna just keep resting and using the, the base camp to essentially rest over and over again. And again, you go to the evening, the, the latest option, and then you just wait a little bit is the next option. And then you should ultimate, ultimately be able to utilize the peep lock to evolve your Ursaring into Ursaluna. Regarding the starter Pokemon, those three just evolve by level up. So you don't have to do anything for Typhlosion, Samurott, or Decidueye. They're just gonna evolve by leveling them up. So that's your full breakdown on how to evolve every single one of the new Pokemon in the Hisui region. Some of them are super unique and I actually really like that. You've got the cool mechanic of the peep blocks of the full moon for Ursaluna. You've got different items like Cleaver's Black Augurite, and then you've got the opportunity to use some signature moves to evolve things. So really, really like what they did with this game in terms of evolving these new Pokemon. It's a good thing that we have guides like this to make it easy, because I'll tell you what, I was playing the game before there was guides, and it was tricky to figure this stuff out. I'll tell you that. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Be sure to like the video if you guys did, and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, so you don't miss out on our epic Pokemon Legends Arceus content. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.